Live. We're itch. Okay, we're live. Woohoo! We're live again. Hi. Hello. Hello. I watched that episode of uh, Seinfeld last night. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. I thought I would do a quick video to tell you a little bit about me and who I am and what I'm going to be doing and um, where I'm from and how I got here and all that good stuff. So I'm 50. I'll be 51 in February, the day before Valentine's Day. And I'm going to change careers, which is crazy, I know, but it's time. I want something I could do for the next 20 years or 25 years. I want to do something where um, if I move to Lake Tahoe or the El Dorado Hills or Reno, I can continue to do electrolysis, you know, probably until the day I die. Um, maybe I'll die with my electrologist epilator hand in my gizmo in my hand doing electrolysis on somebody. But anyway, I just I need something to do for the next 20 years. And I want to challenge my brain and I want to challenge my business skills and I want to meet new people and I want to help. So um, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas, which is so weird. I know um, I left there when I was 18. I went away to school in Reno and then I moved to San Jose, California, thanks to my partner, Fred, who's family is born or they're all mostly from the Willow Glen area, which is where I've been since 1987. And um, I live here still in Willow Glen. I live with my boyfriend, Dave, and um, I'm going to switch careers. I have a lovely family and friends all around me all the time, which is so awesome for me. I feel so blessed. And they're almost all of them are very supportive of my new career choice. But, you know, I, unfortunately, I don't have any money saved. I lost a lot of money. Um, through the business and oh, that's a long story through, you know, business taxes and business debt and all that kind of stuff. So I need a little help from my friends. And um, yeah, I love meeting new people. I love helping women. I love helping women of size, women of color. I love helping people who feel typically marginalized or ostracized. It's been my business for the last six years is helping women of size to feel comfortable and beautiful and relevant. And so I think this electrology idea it's just a really good way for me to segue into my next, my last act, my third act, let's call it. I worked in high tech for 15 years, self-employed for 15 years, and now I have this next uh, next phase of my life. And a dear friend of mine, Sarah, has this beautiful salon in Campbell, and she's offered me a place there to start working as soon as I'm done with my degree or my, my certification. So I couldn't have it any better, honestly, and I'm really, really grateful. This has been a tough year, but still lots of great things going on. I just like to be, I like to be as grateful as possible, even given all the BS that, I, you know, we've all, a lot of my friends and family have had to deal with in 2018, but, you know, it is life. And um, anyway, I'm, I'm ready for the next chapter. So um, let's see what else about me. I love to go to the movies. It's one of my favorite things. I love to talk. Can you tell? I like to read. I'm reading Shrill right now by Lindsay West. Um, I really love to help out with things I can when it comes to fat activism. And I love to, I love all things politics, except for Donald Trump. <laughs> and I'm really excited about the 2020 election because I think we're going to get our country back. Um, what else? I don't know. I have a niece and a nephew and another nephew. I have, so I have two nephews. One nephew's in Spain on a soccer thing. My other nephew's in Las Vegas and my niece is in Texas. And I'm a very proud auntie and I don't have any kids. I'm hoping to get a dog next year once my life and my finances get back in shape. And I really want um, maybe, maybe um, a palm ski if I can rescue one. I really like Labradors a lot too. And I don't know. I just want to, I want to rescue a dog. Um, because there's so many that need rescuing. And I know some of you that know me know that I'm not that much of a pet person, but something about having a dog has just really been calling me for the last five or six years. And of course, my partner Dave would love to have one too. So um, we just have to get our, we have to get our life in order first. And I'm really excited to start this new chapter. I'm really excited to learn all about electrolysis. I want to be as great as Sarah is. She's been doing it for 27 years. And um, I really want to help people who don't feel Sometimes I know as a fat person, I never feel comfortable going to a spa. I have to do all kinds of reconnaissance work before I go into a spa to make sure that their tables and their chairs will accommodate me and all that kind of stuff. I want, I want women of size to be able to come see me and not even have to think about that. Just come get on my table, put some little eye mask on and fall asleep and take a nap and I'll take care of your hair removal if you can sleep while I'm, you know, 
burning the, ch- the hairs off your chin. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Electrolysis though, it does cauterize the blood supply to your hair. So I guess it kind of is like a little, a little bit of heat there. So that's it. Just wanted to kind of give you a little background on me and um, I hope to get you on my table soon. If you want something, some kind of hair of yours removed. All right. Take care you guys. Bye.